Today we're talking about hypermobility and how to know if that applies to you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Colby, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Hypermobility, what is it? Essentially, it means that the soft tissues in your body, which is your muscles, tendons, ligaments, are more flexible than they should be, more flexible than the norm. Flexibility is often a spectrum from hypomobility to hypermobility. Usually you fall somewhere on that line. There's a test out there to determine if you fall on the side of hypermobility and how much so if you're on that scale. The test is called the Brayton score. It's five different tests on both sides of your body. Number one is take your pinky and bend it this way. Can you get that to a 90 degree angle or farther? If you can, then that's a positive one point for this side, and then you would check the other. And if that's a positive, that would be another one point for that side. So for me, I don't hit that on either side. So I am so far a zero. If that was both positives, then you would have two right now. Next is take your thumb and try to bend it to your forearm. Can it touch? So for me, if you can see that, it actually can touch. So that'd be a positive one point on my left. And on the right, I can also get it there again. So that's another one point for the right side. So right now I have a total of two points. For test number three, straighten out your elbow, lock it out as much as you can. Is that a zero degree angle or does it hyperextend? Meaning does this side actually go down at an angle of greater than 10 degrees? I would do this in front of a mirror because it's kind of hard to tell from this side, but if it's greater than 10 degrees, then that's a positive one point. You would do that on the other side as well. But right now, I'm still a total of two. Test number five is stand up and lock out your knee. Again, does your knee hyperextend more than 10 degrees? If it does, that's a positive for that side. Test it on both sides. I do not score a point for either side on this one. Test number five, which is the last one, try to touch the floor. Keep your knees absolutely straight. Can you get your palms fully flat on the floor? If you can, then that's a positive. So what was your score? It can be anywhere from a zero to a nine. If you're a nine, that means you scored really high on that scale of hypermobility. If it's a zero, that means you don't show any signs of hypermobility at all. I was a two, so I'm really low on that spectrum of hypermobility. See, being hypermobile is not a bad thing on its own, but what it does mean is you need to make sure that you're staying strong and working on stability in the gym to keep your joints safe as they go into those excessive ranges of motion. You're not trying to erase your ranges of motion, you're just trying to make sure that you're strong through all of your ranges, especially the end range. What that might mean for you is when you go to the gym, you do a little bit of a stability warm up that primes the musculature to be strong in all of your ranges. I wouldn't jump into heavy compound lifts without doing this stuff before. If you're looking for an example of a warm up that you can do if you do fall into this hypermobility side, watch Watch this video next where I give you a breakdown of a hypermobility warm-up versus what a hypomobility warm-up would look like.